In the book of Isaiah chapter 43 verse 2, Isaiah chapter 43 verse 2, the Bible says, When thou passest through the waters, I will be with thee, and through the rivers, they shall not overflow thee. When thou walkest through the fire, thou shalt not be burned, neither shall the flame kindle upon thee. Close your eyes. Take this prayer point loud and clear. Say, every fire of the wicked designed to weaken my faith be seized in the name of Jesus. Every fire of the wicked designed to weaken my faith be seized in the name of Jesus. Every fire of the wicked designed to weaken my faith be seized in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Today's topic is seeing a church on fire in a dream. Seeing a church on fire in a dream. Did you see a church building burning in that dream? If yes, was it your local church on fire or not? So we are going to tell you more about this revelation. Church is a place where Christian believers worship God. To so see a church on fire in a dream, it represents strong attacks against the church and the pastor in charge. This dream is a sign that devil is trying to set that church on fire in the waking life. God forbid it will not stand. Or the sign could just be that a church is about to lose their members as a result of internal conflict between the pastors and the members. In the book of Matthew chapter 16 verse 18, the Bible says, Upon this rock I will build my church, and the gate of hell shall not prevail against it. A dream of seeing a church burning could suggest a strong attack targeted against your own faith. The devil wants to attack your faith so that you will not be able to have that smooth relationship with God again. And this act can literally affect your church interest. The church in that dream could represent what you believe in as a child of God. And the fire in that dream can symbolize a threat to your faith, can symbolize a threat to the body of Christ. This dream may also suggest a feeling of anger and sadness in you. You need to protect your treasures before the enemy destroys everything you have labored for in this life. The church in that dream also represents power. If fire is burning a particular church, it's a sign of spiritual weakness on your part or a spiritual weakness on the pastor in charge. If fire is burning the church in the dream, it's a sign of spiritual weakness on your part or it's a sign that the foundation of that church is about to collapse. You need to pray for all churches, especially your own church. Your spiritual weakness or ignorance will pave way for the enemy to attack you and manipulate good things in your life. God forbid, seeing a church on fire in a dream may appear as a result of God's anger upon a particular person who is practicing spirit of witchcraft in the church or elsewhere. For example, if you worship in a certain church where you feel your safety is not guaranteed, then you may need to suspend your worship in that church and ask God for more reasons why he wants you out from that church. If as a pastor you are seeing fire burning a church in a dream, take this as a sign that devil wants to scatter all your flocks so that your ministry will not stand, so that your ministry will fail to carry out his divine mandate in your life. If as a pastor you are seeing your own church on fire in the realm of the spirit, then take this dream as a sign that devil wants to scatter all your flocks so that your ministry will not stand, so that your ministry will fail to carry out divine mandate. This dream is coming as a reminder for you to pray for some churches and some pastors. In 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 17, 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 17, the Bible says, If any man defy the temple of God, him shall God destroy. For the temple of God is holy, which temple you have. Seeing fire burning a church in a dream may suggest that God wants to speak with you specifically concerning a church or concerning some things. Maybe the Holy Spirit wants to instruct, He wants to warn or prevent you from going or from worshipping a particular church. The dream may also be a warning of danger coming, insecurity, obstacles and rejection you are facing in some areas of your life. For some people, seeing a church on fire in a dream may represent your inner self. Your life is experiencing the power of God to do exploit in life. According to Luke chapter 4 verse 19, the Holy Spirit may be using this dream to protect you and to rescue you from a difficult problem assigned to destroy you, assigned to destroy your ministry. 
If many people died in the church building a dream, then that symbolizes that you need to pray for divine safety and protection upon your life. When you are seeing a church burning or fire is burning a church, it can mean that the pastor is not clean. It can mean the doctrine of that church is not godly. When you say fire burning a church, it can be a sign that that particular church is gradually deviating from the blueprint of God in that church, in that ministry. And sometimes when you say fire burning a church, it can mean that church is already burning for Christ. They are spiritually revived. They are physically revived. No power can touch them. That fire can also represent the fire of the Holy Spirit, you know, you know, instilling powers into that ministry. So it may be positive, it may be negative. So depending on your emotion, how do you interpret? How does your emotion interpret that dream? So seeing, seeing a particular church on fire, it can be a sign of destruction, a sign of death, a sign that the enemy is trying to pull down the ministry, trying to pull down the church, trying to attack the head pastor. A church on fire. It might also be a sign that a particular church may not last. And on the opposite side, it can mean the power of God is about to saturate that ministry. I pray the Lord Almighty will protect your life, your faith, and your place of worship in Jesus' name. Instruction, embark on three days fasting and prayers from 6 a.m. 6 p.m. Embark on three days fasting and prayers from 6 a.m. 6 p.m. Read the following Bible verses, Isaiah chapter 43 verse 2, Psalm 104 verse 4, and lastly, Daniel chapter 3 verse 16 to 30. Close your eyes. Take this prayer upon loud and clear. Say, Thou fire of God, arise and consume to ashes all my enemies in the name of Jesus. Thou fire of God, arise and consume to ashes all my enemies as stand against me in the name of Jesus. Thou fire of God, arise and consume to ashes all my enemies as stand against me in the name of Jesus. Thou fire of God, arise and consume to ashes all my enemies as stand against me in Jesus' name. Say, any battle assigned to swallow me shall die in the name of Jesus. Any battle assigned to swallow me shall die in the name of Jesus. Any battle assigned to swallow me shall die in Jesus' name. See, I fire back the witchcraft arrows fire into my life through a particular church in the name of Jesus. I fire back the witchcraft arrows fire into my life through a particular church in the name of Jesus. I fire back all the witchcraft arrows fire into my life through a particular church in Jesus' name. See, any hidden fire of the wicked fading away the glory of my church cease in the name of Jesus. Any hidden fire of the wicked fading away the glory of my church, cease in the name of Jesus. Any hidden fire of the wicked, fading away the glory of my church, cease in Jesus' name. So Holy Spirit, appear in the midst of my troubles and save me in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, appear in the midst of my troubles and save me in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. If this broadcast has blessed you, share to your friends and family. Once again, this is Evangelist Joshua from Lagos.